Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a XAMPP server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed XAMPP server and all of the prerequisites including FileZilla, MariaDB, SQLite and so much more. So simply click on get it now and then click on continue. After that from this product description page simply click on create and then you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose a resource group by the creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm just going to call this one as XAMPP. After that choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that scroll down and create the credentials for logging into the RDP connection of your virtual machine. This is also going to be the credentials for Windows Server 2019. So give yourself a username and respective passwords. Once that is done simply click on review plus create. Now that is going to launch up a validation process so simply wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation process is done simply click on this create button to actually create this virtual machine. And then simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done the next step is to connect to a virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for that simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page simply click on connect and then choose RDP. After that simply download the RDP file. And once that file is downloaded, simply click on it to launch the RDP connection. So click on connect and then it should ask you for the credentials. So click on more choices, click on use a different account and then provide the credentials that you have created while creating this virtual machine. Then click on OK and then it is going to prompt you one last time. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you can start working with XAMPP. Now if you want to start any service with XAMPP, you need to open up the control panel from the desktop. Now as you can see that, this is the XAMPP control panel. From here you can start different services like Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat. So I'm just going to quickly go over them and start them all. Now once all of these services have been started, you can quickly access their admin portals by simply clicking on this admin panel. So if you want to access the Apache admin portal, simply click on this admin button. And just like that you were able to visit the dashboard for Apache. Now if you want to configure your database, then this XAMPP server comes with phpMyAdmin. So to open up that phpMyAdmin, simply click on this admin button right in front of MySQL. So this is going to open up phpMyAdmin which is hosted at the port number 3306. Now currently with the fresh installation of XAMPP, the root password is set to blank. So you can change that afterwards. If you want to access FileZilla for FTP services, then simply head back to the XAMPP control panel and simply click on this admin button in front of FileZilla. And FileZilla is being hosted on the port number 14147. So if you want to view the ports for all other services, then you can see them over here. And again, the password for the root or administration is currently set to blank. So simply clicking on OK would connect us to the FileZilla server. And also, if you want to visit the dashboard for Tomcat, then simply click on this button to open up the Apache Tomcat dashboard, which is hosted on the port number 8080. Now, if you have any queries or if you need help to set up all of these services, then what you can do is that you can open up this text file on the desktop, which says getting started. And within this text file, there's a link which is about how to set up or how to guide. So copy this link and then paste it inside the Internet Explorer. Now on this page, you can follow along with the step to set up all of the different services that come with XAMPP. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up XAMPP server on Azure. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.